Reggie Gibson, August 23, 1970 to November 19, 2024, better known as Soffer, was an American rapper, producer, and actor. He was also a member of the rap group Golden State Project, formerly known as Golden State Warriors, with Raskas and Exhibit. Life and Career Born in Oakland, California, he lived with Tupac Shakur and became a dancer for Digital Underground. In November 1994, Soffer took part in one of the most notorious Bay Area rap battles when he and members of the Hobo Junction went against Casual and members of the Hieroglyphics crew. The battle was broadcast live by organizers Sway and King Tech on Kamel's The Wake Up Show. Coverage of the battle in March 1995's issue of the source National Exposure to the Bay Area Hip Hop Scene. Soffer made his recording debut on several cuts on Digital Underground's The Body Hat Syndrome in 1993, followed by an appearance on Casual Sphere itself in early 1994. He appeared in the film Menace to Society as Harold Lawson and was featured on the film's soundtrack. With a deal from Quest Records, Soffer recruited the Hobo Junction production team, Jay Groove, Jay-Z, Rational, Big Nose, and Pope Martian for his freestyle debut, Boxcar Sessions, 1994. He recorded an album titled Trigonometry under the alias Mr. No-No before returning as Soffer in the hit list, 1999. The hit list was considered Soffer's attempt at commercial acceptance. The album featured production by Stevie J, made famous for his work with P. Diddy's Hitman production team, and guest vocals from West Coast heavyweights Cam and J. O. Felony and controversial East Coast lyricist Chino XL. In 2006, he released his fourth album, Good Game, The Transition, ABB Records, 2006. The album covers the major transitions throughout his life, most notably his spinal tumor and his conversion to Islam. Starting in 2012, Soffer's son, Soffer Gibson, began to release music under the moniker Soffer. Injury from TWA Flight 843 On July 30, 1992, Soffer was one of the passengers flying on TWA Flight 843. He suffered a back injury as a consequence of evaluating an aborted takeoff and consequent hard landing, crash, and fire. In February 2013, on Davey D's Hip Hop Corner, Digital Underground leader Shock G revealed that Soffer had begun using a wheelchair due to complications from his spinal surgery. Soffer later appeared on Sway and King Tech's The Wake Up Show to confirm his condition and clear up some of the misconceptions stemming from Shock G's announcement. Death on November 19, 2024, it was announced that Soffer had died at 8.45 a.m., surrounded by friends and family. He was 54. No cause of death was released, but Soffer had been struggling with various health issues for quite a while. 